All right, what I want to show you now is a 350Z and a 370Z side by side. Show you the differences, the similarities, so you can compare, see what's changed. I mean, obviously we've got some facelift changes. You can definitely tell it in the rear end with the Porsche style, at least that's how it looks to me, Porsche style rear end. See how there's uh, the slope, but it doesn't tail off on the 370 whereas it tails off on the 350 and that is because they took four inches off that car off the rear end and you can kind of see it after looking at it now aside from the rear end obvious differences there were some other facelift changes with the door handles uh, the newer style wheels those are some premium wheels on this one um, front end looks pretty similar with the difference in the lights and the nose I always kind of thought the nose on the 350 was a little um, a little too friendly there's the nose of the 350 and the nose of the 370 you can see it's much more aggressive looking um, now I, I can't say 100% for sure maybe somebody can comment about whether the indent in the hood to the roof whether that is a aerodynamics reason that they did that you've got the bulge in the hood of the 350 but um, I don't know if that's an aerodynamics difference or what Gonna look at the interior now the interior is a huge upgrade in the 370 the interior is not as cheap as the 350 uh, the 350 wasn't too cheap of an interior but this is this is luxury style interior on the 370 with the leather stitching and the leather on the dash so you got the leather up here all around the interior is better um, now your cargo area is smaller on the 370 but I would have to say that the leg room and the headroom on the 370 has improved and uh, we've got a guy here is about 6'4 and he can attest to that he couldn't get in the 350 without his head touching the roof and this one because of the extra leg room and the extra reclining room he can actually get in without his head touching. Now let's look at the 350. So here's the 350 interior. Again, it wasn't too bad, but the 370 is definitely an improvement. You've got more space back there, but you didn't have as much space because of the compartments back behind the seat. You didn't have as much space to lay back and recline. And even though they've shortened the 370, you do have more space. So um, those are some basic styling and appearance differences between the 350 and 370. There's some other technical differences, such as the 34 more horsepower, um, As well as the rev matching manual transmission but all in all there's the 350 there's the 370 I would have to say that this 370 is awesome looking